Hello guys and welcome to a, another video. Today I am going to be doing a little unpacking and showing some of the materials I've been using recently as well as share some of my sketches I'm doing. So my friend Natasha Newton, you may already know her, you may already follow her on YouTube and she is, I would say, the queen of doing art hauls and swatches and she challenged me when she heard that I would be making another order from Jackson's that I should also do an art haul and swatch. So that is the challenge and I'm going to do it right now. So here is the Bockingford from St Cuthbert's Mill. I haven't used this paper before and yes I can see it's really really smooth. And that I'm going to enjoy working on that with my pencils. This is the exciting part, is opening it. I do like that paper. So put it in a little packet. Although these say, I think this is just recycled paper because they're not Da Vinci brushes that are in here. Let's see if I can get them out without them going out of the way. Okay. Okay, I can already see some nice colours, so I'm just going to try and stack them. So these are colours that I haven't used before, apart from, is this one Grains Pe Grain Pains Grey? <laughs> I think Grains Pain. Um, Pains Grey, this one. I used and actually I've lost my little stump that I had. It was so small they rolled off the table and I cannot find it. Okay, so just, I think this one's Payne's grey as well. No. French grey, ten percent. And then I've got also two ink tents pencils, um, a ink black and a saddle brown. I've used the ink black but I haven't used the saddle brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little sketchbook, this one, this chap, and I'm going to swatch these colours in this little sketchbook. So let's just put you in a different position so you can see what I'm doing. So let's start with this one. This is a middle cobalt blue. Oh, it's very bright, very fresh blue. 
feels a little bit chalky, similar to the brown that I've used before, similar to Castle Earth, so similar to this one. I quite like that. I'm going to use my ink black to label. And then our next colour, which is turquoise blue. I chose this colour because I really wanted a colour for the sea and I found that I was, I've kind of got this colour in my water soluble crayons but I wanted it in a pencil. I didn't have this colour in my pencils. Yeah, that's a really nice, fresh colour. Mm. So that one is turquoise. And the next blue that I've got is a light cobalt blue. Oh, I like that one as well. Yeah, I can see that being used a lot on my sea in the horizon. Next one we have, let's see, this is Payne's Grey but 30%, so I haven't used this one before either, so oh yeah. Yeah, I love that, the feel of this one. It feels very creamy, much like the Payne's Grey that I'm used to. And I love the shade of grey. Thirty per cent. Next one we're going to put next to it is French grey, ten per cent. Just a little bit slightly warmer, this grey. Looks like um, it's got a bit of, I don't know, a bit of red in it, which makes it a bit warmer, softer. Oh, I like that colour though. Very nice. And again, it feels quite creamy. I'm excited to use that actually. And we've got one more grey, which is Payne's Grey, and this is one that I've used before. It's nice just to finish this page off. You can see it is quite grainy, but I do love that colour. It's just not as harsh as black. It's got blue in it really nice colour. 
And you can see the more that I go over, the darker it will become. You lose some of the texture, but you still have that. And I can definitely see that these top will be used for C and these ones maybe horizon, land masses, horizon, sky. Yeah, they're nice. I'm pleased with those. Okay, let's uh, see what other colours I've got. Okay, so I've picked a green and this green is called a dark sap green. I don't normally go for really dark greens, but I felt that I was missing a kind of a really dark green in my sketching. Just wanted something a bit more contrasting. So I thought I'd try this one. Now this is interesting, it's, it's actually got a bit more blue in it than I expected. Okay so our next colour is another green and this one is a spring green. I think it's very appropriate to be a spring green since it is spring. And I couldn't resist this colour, it's just so bright and colourful and will really, I think, give a pop. It's a little bit similar to my Intense Green, but a little bit more yellow, I think. But yeah, it feels really nice on the page. Really nice and smooth. Yeah, that colour's lovely. And my next colour is this time a yellow. This one is a yellow ochre or okra. Um, I wanted something that was not a cool yellow but I wanted a warm yellow. And I do have a mustard yellow in the ink tense pencils. It's slightly more browny, so oh yeah. That's nice. That's actually a similar colour to one of my water soluble crayons. And I really like that colour as a base colour. And particularly in Cornwall, you see this kind of colour on the rocks. It's this type of moss or lichen. I think it's a type of lichen. And it is a lovely colour. But yeah, I like that. Okay, we're on to our final three. So we've got a pink. This, oh my goodness, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pronounce this pink. This is an anthra, anthraquinode, anthraquinode? Anthraquinode. Say it with confidence, anthraquinode. Anthraquinoid pink. Oh yeah, yeah this is what I was hoping for, a really kind of popping pink, not kind of fluorescent, not um, too blue either, like not cool, but a warm pink and that you can see, look how well it goes with these greens and it complements these colours as well, but yeah that's really nice. And again, this feels really creamy. Next, we have, doesn't look too exciting. This is a brown okra, but it's at 10%.
So I have, you see, I've got a burnt ochre at 10% and I use it quite a lot. Can you see it's she gone down quite a bit? And I use that just again to give me some brights like beaches or I find just popping it in there really breaks up, gives it a neutral. So I thought I'd want to try, I thought I'd try this one because this one isn't as pink, it's a little bit more neutral. Yeah, and that's nice. You can see it balances. is nice yeah. So that's a brown ochre at 10%. There we go. So those are all of the Luminance Caran d'Ache and then I'm just going to pop on one more here and this is Dewent Ink Tents range. This one is Saddle Brown and I do use these a lot as well. You can see them all. I've got them all lined up here, which you probably can't see on the camera. But yeah, I really like the Ink Tents range because again, the the colours are really quite strong, good pigmentation, and then you can dilute them or soften them with water. And when you actually add water to them, they suddenly take on a whole other intensity. And then when they dry, they're actually permanent, so you can't re-wet them. But, oh yeah, I like this one. I like that colour. Yeah, that brown's nice. I was looking, I've got a couple of browns in the Ink Tense range. I think I've got a bark and um, a more orangey brown. Oh yeah, this one. Baked Earth, which is a lot more orangey. So this one is actually perfect for what I need it. I want an in-between. So that one, yeah, you can see it goes really well with the colours. So that's Saddle Brown. So there we go. That is my colour swatching of my recent purchase from Jackson's. I got them all from Jackson's this time. and. Um, so we've got the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils and then a couple of the Dewent Ink Tense pencils. So you can see the black that I've used is actually the Ink Black and then that is the Saddle Brown. So I'm really looking forward to um, bringing these in to my colour palette and seeing how they fit together. So I drew this earlier in the year, this was in January, this was of Pelurian Cove and so this is in my sketchbook and you can see that it, I work in it really really quickly with um, a few of my pencils and crayons, I'll just show you actually here, these are my, what I've got at the moment that I use, these are the colours, as you can see these ones are very very short now. And those are the few luminance pencils that I had. And then over here, these are all of the crayons that I use as well. So these will be joining those. But you can see, yeah, the colours I use, you, you see that yellow and then the um, neutral colour there and then the blues and the greens. I've really loved doing the sea, doing a lot more sea pictures and then the cliffs as well. You can see all of these colours in the cliffs. really enjoy putting those colours down. And this was today's. So this one was a little bit different because I actually used some of my Copic markers which I haven't used, <laughs> barely, <laughs> since I got them a couple of years ago. 
Um, so I've been trying to make use of them and put them in. So I've been using them as bases. So you can see that that kind of pinky, beigey hue, I used that before I used the crayons and the pencils. So this is my sketchbook. So I'm treating it as a sketchbook, you know, trying out things, being quite, working quite quickly. And then from these, I am then working on, on these pieces. And these are giving me a lot of joy at the moment. So you can see that they're a little bit more considered. They're still sketchy though. And they, I'm still trying to keep myself loose when I'm doing them. So yeah, they're still sketchy, they're still loose, they still involve layers and combining different mediums. I try not to get too tight though because that's what I realise, that's what I do, I try and control it too much and so that's why I think it's so important for me to keep going in my sketchbook, keep drawing in my sketchbook and keeping myself loose so that when I work on these pieces they they have that same excitement that I have when I work in my sketchbook. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. It has been a while since I've actually shared what's going on right now. But I hope that um, this will whet your appetite and perhaps get you excited about trying out some different mediums or working in a different way or just sharing what you're doing. So yeah, thank you guys and I will see you again very soon.